What's going on guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to Olsen Auto. If you're new to the channel and you haven't heard about my giveaway, click the card in the upper right hand corner and the first link in the description so that you can be entered to win a GoPro Hero 7 Black with a bunch of accessories for free. Guys, watch the video. It's short. It's four minutes long and it talks all about how you can enter. But with that out of the way, this video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I know this one has been long awaited. People have asked a lot of questions that I never actually answered because I, I asked if I was going to be doing a Q&A, if you guys had questions, and that was probably nine months ago. Sorry about that one. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get into some of the questions. Let's get right to it. Let's see what you guys are asking. Now, the first two questions that I'm going to be going over, guys, they're pretty similar. It's dream car build and project and future plan and builds. Now, of course, my future plans and builds do correlate with my dream car and build not in the immediate future, but certainly, certainly in the future. My dream car is actually a 1991 Prelude 2.1 SI TCV. It's a very special edition Prelude that comes with traction control, ABS, power steering, of course, four wheel steering, and a bunch of other goodies. It comes with a re-sleeved B21 A1 with higher compression pistons, and it is super, super rare. Of course, I'd have to get it right hand drive, and that's that's probably a fifteen dollars to $20,000 vehicle if you can even find one for sale. I didn't even know it existed until recently when I was looking into buying a four-wheel steer prelude, so sadly, I can't even find one for sale, but if I do find one, I'm gonna jump on it pretty fast. Now, as far as my next build slash project, I'm not entirely sure yet. I know for a fact that next year I'm gonna be doing a lot of racing. Of course, we're building the track CBR 600, and that thing is gonna be sick. We're starting that up in about a month, and that's when we're gonna go all in. I'm gonna make about three weeks worth of videos just straight focused on it. Obviously, I'm not gonna upload them all at once. I'm gonna put videos in between because I don't wanna bore you guys to death. But that is currently the very next project. Of course, for my next car, I would love to get a four-wheel steer prelude. However, that wouldn't be much of a project. That'd be more of a daily, so I'm not really sure. I know with having a track bike and hopefully a soon race dirt bike, not my DRZ 400, but something I can rip through the woods, I'd love to get back into enduro racing again next year along with road bike racing. So I know I need a truck. I can't just ride my track bikes to the track on the road because it's going to get impounded pretty fast. So I really am looking for a truck. I don't want to do a truck build per se, but then again it would be pretty cool to have a truck. I know I need one, but I also want to get another car. I'm not really sure yet guys, I'll be honest. Whatever I can find that I like and that interests me, I'll probably buy. That's sort of how I've always gone about it. I see a car that I like and I buy it. I, I never searched specifically for a prelude. It just popped up in my Facebook marketplace feed. Um, a girl that I went to school with said, Nick, I never got to make you more empanadas. Abby, I want the empanadas, but now we both go to schools really far away from each other. But uh, over winter break, we're making empanadas. Jake went ahead and he asked plans after high school. The helicopter that was in the last video was flying overhead this video too. So Jake asked plans after high school. Of course, high school has been over for probably six months or so now, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tell you guys some of my plans. Essentially, what I wanna do is right now I'm at college, I'm going for a business administration degree, and I plan on using that to further pursue YouTube. The end goal is to make YouTube my main source of income and continue trading stocks and options and other financial securities as well for my side stream. That's all the business stuff you guys don't care about. Long story short, I want to keep doing YouTube and you guys are helping me pursue that. Guys, make sure you drop a subscription, hit the notification bell, drop a like and comment on this video, guys. Help me pursue that goal. If YouTube isn't going to work out, I do have other plans as far as running my own business, but I certainly don't plan on working for anyone else after college. Throughout college, I'm working at Target and I help manage a podcast here, which is awesome. It's a great way to get some money, but it's not what I want to do my whole life. Essentially, if you guys can help me become a YouTuber, I'd be pretty stoked. Here is a question from a kid named Caleb. He said, can you put both Prelude engines in one Prelude and have a front wheel drive car that could switch to rear wheel drive and also all wheel drive, but have two engines? I love the idea and yes, I could do it. There's an Instagram user who goes by the name of Suicide MX3. He drives an MX3 with two engines in it. One of them controls the rear wheels, they're both transversely mounted, and one of them controls the front wheels. I would essentially have to put the engine transversely in the trunk, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I could do it. I'm not sure how I'd rig up the starters. Obviously, I would need extra batteries and alternators and pulleys. I would only need one power steering pump, and the concern would be that the rear wheels with no power steering pump push out more power than the front wheels, and it might drive kind of weird. It'd be very hard to get aligned, but long story short, it is possible. 
Maybe that's my next project. Comment down below if you guys wanna see a dual engine car build. So the next question is, will you be RB25 swapping the rear? Uh, short answer, no. The 2.5 liter inline six RB25, not my favorite engine, really poorly designed in my personal opinion, but I'm not gonna get into that, guys. I really don't like how they're designed. If I were to rear wheel drive swap this car, it would just be with the S2000 engine transmission setup. Since it's still a four cylinder, rear wheel drive, that's what I would go with. I don't feel like putting a Nissan engine in my Honda, that seems kind of blasphemous, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna skip that question and act like it wasn't asked. Can you V8 swap your bike? Yes. Look up the Boss 302 motorcycles, those have huge V8s. Sadly, there's so much engine torque that you can't actually rev it while sitting on it, or really while moving, because there's so much torque, it'll shake you off the bike. Plans with the Prelude. You guys can go ahead and look at my further in-depth plans with the Prelude by clicking the card in the upper right-hand corner. That talks about my long-term plans, but right now, I want to do a B20A swap, different transmission, wheels, and suspension. I'd love to do a full paint correction, but at this point, I'm just trying to get it structurally sound and looking the way I want. The goal with the wheels is to get a set of Desmond Evo 10s, however, those cost about twice what I paid for the car, so I'm not getting those anytime soon, unless you guys really run up this video. Other cars that I'm looking at, some of the other cars I'm looking at would be other Preludes, Crown Vicks, Silverados, uh, any sort of truck, really Suburbans are pretty cool. I'm also down for an OBS six cylinder five speed stick F-150, anything like that. I really am open to anything. If you guys are selling something cool in the New England area, comment down below. Plans with the daily, hopefully sell it. I got kind of bored with it. I really want to get a five speed daily or a six speed daily. Something older too, like the Prelude. I'm just really kind of bored with having a newer car. Some of the goals with my channel, that's the next question, would be to hit a thousand subscribers. Now, at the time of filming this video, I'm at about 386. At the time of uploading it, I should be at a thousand. So, preemptive thank you, I think. Of course, I want to keep developing the channel. I want to keep building different bikes and cars and hopefully doing some giveaways in the future on top of the GoPro giveaway. But I really just want to keep building cars and motorcycles, tutorials, riding videos, track day videos, everything like that. In the future, I would like to start producing my own auto parts. That's super, super long term, but that's the general idea behind my business plan. Can I make my daily roll coal? The Prelude already does. It's called Oil Blow By. That's why there's a catch can under the hood. Oh no, I just make YouTube videos for fun. I make YouTube videos for fun. The last question that I got asked was my favorite build and why. Now this is an interesting question because I wasn't really sure if he was talking about my favorite build that I've personally done or a build of another YouTuber or person. However, there is one NSX build that I'm in love with. His username on Instagram is NSXtra and he has a tent, a big pop-up tent, on the rear of his NSX. Super unique build and I love how he actually takes it down dirt roads and whatnot and goes camping in it. Really want to do that with the Prelude. I think making a mini version of his car would be sweet. However, given the short trunk, that's kind of impossible. Sorry, there's one more question. I also got asked about my future plans for car meets, subscriber meets, etc. I am right now in the works of releasing my first edition 1,000 subscriber special merchandise. If I make 1,000 subscribers before this video comes out, then you'll have already known that because the video will already out. However, working on that merchandise, I want to use that and I want to use the 1,000 subscriber base to go ahead and push forward with car meets. Obviously with coronavirus, it's a bit difficult to host large gatherings. I certainly wouldn't want to be putting anybody at risk, so it's a little bit difficult to do that. However, in 2021, I plan on hosting a few car meets, a few bike meets, ride outs and drive outs, maybe up north in the mountains in New Hampshire, maybe just down south in Rhode Island, Connecticut for all my local homies. The plan is to start hosting them next year, hopefully with COVID having died down a bit. Again, we'll have to see and play it by ear. So if you guys have any other questions, be sure to comment them down below. Make sure you click that first link in the description or the card at the beginning of the video to enter to win the GoPro Hero 7 Black for free. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell. Go ahead, drop a like. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.